You have so much moving around yeah. to do in here and literally like shuffling of animals. Look at him. He is so cool. Look at this guy, man. He's been doing a lot better. Oh man, they hooked me up with a straight like fake little tree dude. Look at this, man. Do you guys see this? Because we really don't need it too high. Keep We're going to put that in there. That should be the final touch right there. There you go, bud. Dude, that is so cool, man. What's up, YouTube? Okay, before we get to this vlog, real, real quick, I need you guys to do me a big, big favor. I need you to go check out two channels that I'm gonna mention right now, just because, you know, I know a lot of us are staying at home, you know, especially with all this coronavirus stuff and this lockdown quarantine, but I'm gonna be mentioning the channel every other week or every week, just to kind of give you guys some other content to check out. I mean, I watch these channels, they're very fun, but could you guys go check out Hardwire Exotics? Information will be on the description down below. This guy produces some amazing, amazing snakes. Check this out. Yeah, crazy snakes, right? And then, oh my gosh, this next one. Alyssa, AKA DJ Tanner from Full House. Yes, I mean, to me, she just reminds me of a DJ. But guys, she just started her YouTube channel, man. Go show her some love, man. As you guys know that starting your own YouTube channel, it's not easy, man, it's hard. It's hard, hard work, and just getting your face on there and stuff like that, it's just crazy. So if you guys could go check both of them out, again, it's gonna be on the information in the description down below, Hardwire Exotics and Full Throttle Reptiles. Okay, so the whole reason of this vlog is, you guys want to see more of Tina and less of me. I know, I get it, trust me, I get tired of seeing myself. But Tina is gonna get down right now and she's gonna set up our little, Knock what is tail. it? Knock tail. Uh, yep. And Tina already have a couple of stuff here. So Tina already put a heat pad on here. We already got it hooked up to the Vibrarian thermostat and we already have temps perfectly fine. So on the heat side, it's showing about 94, 95. But once we put some sand on there, it's gonna be around 88. Yeah, it's in between. Around, yeah, maybe High like 80. 80s, low 90s. Yeah, and if it wants to get warmer, it'll just, you know, what's it called, it'll just burrow under. And guys, just so you guys know, we did do some research. Before you guys say, oh, that's not the way you do it, that's a bull. Because you know what, we've had this thing for over a year and it's been perfectly fine. It's been eating, it's been living, it's been drinking water, all that good stuff, right, Turtle? Yeah. Yeah, so any negativity, guys, it's just don't do it. Cause I'm just gonna like swipe and just, you know, delete it. So just stop, just enjoy this, relax, and let Tina, you know, get down and dirty. Okay, so like you said, we already have all the temps regulated and everything. We're just gonna basically set it all up, so. Uh... We're gonna start off with this desert blend. Shout out to Zilla. Oh yeah, big <laughs> shout out to Zilla too for all these tanks over here, man. Look at this, as you guys know, I took my uh, Black Eastern Indigo from his uh, tub just because we love this guy so much and he's in here. Look at this, man. Hopefully it doesn't bite me. Hey, Black Eastern Indigo, dude. Look at that, man. How cool is that? So awesome. So happy to have him here. Actually, I was gonna put him in the other room, but Tina's like, no, no, he looks really cool right there. He does look cool here. And I'm not, I mean, I'm telling you, you guys know that this is my favorite snake in my whole reptile collection, so. Why not display? I'm cool with him there. <laughs> oh my gosh, and guys, we have a big news. Um, Tina's rhino iguana, not the viper boa that we, you know, got her yesterday. Not that um, rhino viper boa. Yeah, <laughs> but, but her rhino iguana, Iggy, is going to be getting an insane, insane new setup. I mean, I can't wait to show you guys. It's gonna be done in about a week or two, but it's gonna be super, super cool. So, okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just get this poured in. Dude, what about a lot of people that are gonna say dirt, dirt sand's not good for reptiles? Well, I mean. He's been living here for how long already? Pe people are gonna say what they wanna <laughs> say, and you know, everybody's got their own way of doing their own thing, and this is our way. What if they wanna throw hands with you? <laughs> then they can bring it, I'm Dude, ready. <laughs> how's your fighting stance? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we're just gonna lay this down pretty flat here, and I mean, this is a pretty easy, Setup. So we got all the bedding laid down pretty much. We just have to go get his hide. Uh, we are gonna put a water bowl in there. You know what? We've had him for quite some time and I catch him in his water bowl often. So why not? <laughs> yeah, so again, we were looking at a lot of different people like the way they set up. I even called a couple of people just to get some exact, you know, yeah, just some stuff see. that we didn't know. And some people don't even put no water bowls. Yeah. They are desert uh, geckos and, all, and they're also nocturnal. So you really don't see them that much. Um, yeah. But a lot of people just kind of just uh, spray their sand or the play sand or the dirt that they use and you know that's pretty much it. But like we've we've had him for a long time already and yeah. we catch him in his water bowl all, all the, time. the time. And he just floats right yeah. up on top. Same thing with our Mexican beetle lizard. People are always like, dude, like how come he's always in there? And it's like, no, he stays yeah. in there. <laughs> and it's like, oh, it might be too hot in there. No, trust me, he like literally it. loves the water. The little one that we have that's in this new terrarium as well, he's always in the water as well. Yeah. So I mean, dude, nowadays I would like to be you know swimming in the water as well too. I wish. Cool. <laughs> just want to see that. A lot of people, you know, start, you know, just attacking her. And I swear, if you guys attack yeah. Tina, woo -hoo, Man. 
right. Okay, so all I really have to do is go get the water dish and obviously the gecko. So, uh. Wait, wait, wait. Can we go see where it's gonna go? Yeah, let's see the spot. Okay, okay so, so this, is, this is our baby little um, reptarium. <laughs> and then our little place in there is the BHB, right? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> we even got our own speedy. That's right. Oh my gosh, we're, we're gonna have show to you show you. You'll see. But check this out. So again, so here's our other little beaded lizard. This one's name is Junior. See, Junior's over there just chilling. Let me take his hideout completely. Sorry, Junior. Just want to show people how amazing you are. And you know, it's crazy because Junior, he's not as aggressive as Venom is. But look at him. He is so cool. And yeah, we usually catch him in his little water dish right there. So again, I really think they love the water, man. All right, Junior, we'll let you be. And again, a lot of this stuff's gonna be uh, getting moved out. I don't wanna say right now, just cause. You have so much moving around yeah. to do in here and literally like shuffling of animals. Like we've got, the kids got stuff in their room. I have Iggy in my room and I kind of just want everybody in one space. It makes for easy. Except uh, the black Eastern Indigo that you said. Except him, cause he looks cool there. He okay. really does. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Speaking of cool, look at this guy, man. He's been doing a lot better. Look at that fat tummy right there, man. So cool. Yeah, he's definitely full. Cool. All right, so here's a cool part again. So here's where he's going to be. We already have the extension cord. I already come here with this heat pad where it's going to be hooked up to the thermostat. So it's a pretty cool, man. So we'll be able to see him. You know, he'll be able to get some natural sunlight because what we do is we open all these blinds up and everyone gets to get some sun. As you can see, look some at that. Nice sun. Bam, yeah. bam. Mm -hmm. get and that he'll one. have his belly heat with yeah. the, uh, the heat pad and Good old fashioned vitamin D. <laughs> yeah. Right? So, yeah, so that's where he's gonna go. So, we're gonna set him up, get everything going, and we'll go from there. And you're gonna see the finished product. All right, so Turtle's already decorating this. So, a lot of you uh, reptile lovers are gonna <laughs> love this because you guys know that we really don't put too much decorations on most of our uh, stuff because they're in tubs. Yeah. But <laughs> this one's gonna get, you know, completely, you know, done up. I don't think you'll really notice it. Be like, oh man, they hooked me up with a straight, like, fake little tree here. <laughs> so. <laughs> But yeah, so we have this little thing as a decoration right here. Here's where his heat spot's gonna be at. And then obviously this is the cool side. This is where we're gonna have his little hide. We're gonna go in like Dang, this. That's gonna nice be nice little, nice that's little stuff spot. Right there. Nice and comfy in there. You could burrow in and do his little gecko things. Oh yeah. Okay guys, and here's his water dish right here. And again, he's so small, like he's just gonna go climb right in there and just hang out in the water. And we <laughs> catch him there all the time. Yeah, we catch him <laughs> in the water all the time, guys. And again, here's where it's gonna be the heat spot at. So as you can see, he'll probably feel a little more comfortable right there, you know, hiding in between these little fake little trees. He's gonna be like, oh man, thanks for hooking me up. And then, you know, there's gonna be his hide right here. I'm not gonna lie, this is a really good setup, man. I'm glad Tina did this, because I myself would have <laughs> not done anything that's good. But yeah, so we're pretty much ready to add the gecko. All right, turtle. So bring him out from his little temporary Little temporary tub. home, forever okay. home. Oh man, does he have a name? You know what, he does not have a name. Yeah, he does. What's that? Remember Jarvis? Oh my God, <laughs> that's, that's Jarvis. right. <laughs> Jarvis, here you Look go, forever right home. Look how cool he is. He is, he's so cool. They're tails, hey, man. Little Jarvis. <laughs> man, Tina and I were watching like these things on YouTube on him for a long time, man. Dave Kaufman actually has a really cool video about you know, knob tails over there. You guys should definitely go check it out. I'll put this information in the description down below as well. And seriously, Ooh. after seeing that video? Yeah, we fell like, in love with them, man. We're like, Maybe we'll breed some. Yeah, because they have them in. Something we thought about. They have them in rock systems. <laughs> exactly, exactly, and that would be pretty easy too. I mean, you never know. All right, so let him in. Here you go. Hey, little knobtail dude. Hey, look at this. He's probably like, man, that's what I'm talking about. You have a little gecko party up in there. All right, guys, so Turtle's getting some of the last things done. Let me show you what she did right now. She just got down with my tools and drilled a little hole back here. So we have all the wires connected to the thermostat. And she's also putting this little lamp right here, this little five watt fluorescent lamp that pretty much is gonna give it some lighting over here that we can get some really, really good um, lighting on, on it. So it'll be really, really cool. It's gonna have its heat source, thermostat and some lighting. Everything is gonna be connected here just with one switch, all these lights over here. And that's just one that we have set up so far. We still have a mossy frog, yeah. an Amazon tree boa, and we're still gonna be getting some other reptiles to set up our little baby reptarium. We should call it the Hispanic Terry Oh! oh dang, that's, dang, that's gonna be really cool. Fun. All right guys, next we're gonna fix up is a little day gecko setup that Turtle's gonna do again. And then we're gonna do our Pac-Man frog. So stay tuned guys, because we're about to get crazy up in here. All right, change of plans. We have some of the tanks still over there at storage. So right now is what we're gonna do is we're gonna get Big Carl, which is Ace's Amazon tree boa. We're gonna get him set up, which Tina already has an idea that's gonna just be on fire. We're gonna move a couple of 
lychees around to some bigger, bigger terrariums. Let me show you how Tina hooked up one of the lychees terrariums. I mean, dude, you want to talk about Tina has like, dude, she, she gets down. Watch this. Look, look. Again, all these tanks came from uh, Zilla. Again, big shout out to my, Ryan McVay. But look at this, man. Do you guys see this? Look at this girl right here. Look how big she is. Whew, man. This thing is beautiful. And look at its house. Turtle, you should be like a professional decorator of a... Uh... Reptile decorator? Yeah. All right, guys. So we are getting there right now. I know I said we're going to get to the next uh, uh, gecko or snake that we don't even know what we're going to start with. No. But Jesse went over to get some extra, you know, cords and extra lighting and stuff like that. Now everything here is just hooked on one switch. So we yeah. can just click on something everything shuts off on this side. But check this out right here, man. Look at this. And they say they're nocturnal. This dude is loving it, man. Turtle, good job. Thank you. <laughs> good for you. Good for you. And again, we have a five watt amp right here, uh, a light from Zilla, not an amp. But uh, look at this, it gives enough lighting in here just so you can look, look cool and stuff, kind of like a desert. But also, it's not producing any other heat. So on this side right here, it's showing about 88 degrees. And then on this side over here, it's around 75. So definitely wants to cool off over here. And if he gets a little hotter, he'll burrow under it. But as you can see, he's not afraid or anything, man. He's actually loving it, dude. Big shout out to the turrets. He's All right. Still. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get one of the kids geckos little terrarium ready again big shout out to zilla ryan mcveigh man appreciate it dude all of these tanks right here are from zilla man you can't beat it dude these guys produce some awesome awesome stuff love it we have a green tree python right here we're going to put an amazon tree bowl over here and these are some lychees lychees we have a date gecko that we'll show you guys in a little bit but we're going to do the crested gecko right now all right turtle so what are you going to start off with first first i'm going to down some rep to chip bedding you know we just need a little bit it's got kind of a small tank here so we're gonna start with some rep to chip make sure he's got a place for water and food and something to hide in big shout out to you becoming the pet tuber not that there's pet nothing tuber. wrong with that we're just joking <laughs> yeah all right so again we're all i mean we're all honestly somewhat of pet tubers aren't we yeah pretty I'm much i'm a ball python tuber yeah i'm just a tuber a tuber you're a wife <laughs> a little tuber <laughs> okay all right so rep to chip sick ass feet <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> I got cool feet too. Your, your, your nuggets are pretty cool. Okay, so the cool thing about these tanks they is that the lids like that. come off. You can call me, can call me those nuggets? They look like nuggets. They do. Obviously. Okay, mine looks like a mushroom toe. <laughs> Alright. Okay, again, big shout out to Raptor Chip as well. As you guys know, we use all the bedding over here from Raptor Chip, and my brother is the distributor of California. So if you guys are interested, make sure you hit up AEP Foreman. His information is gonna be on the description down below. Woo! Dang, <laughs> that was fire. Okay, guys, so here goes the ready chip. And we don't need very much, just enough to. Uh, and the good thing coat about this Repta chip here is, like, you know, we soak it a little bit with water mm -hmm. and it allows it to give it a nice little damp uh, feel to it. And then right there, it brings up the humidity. And as you guys know, crested geckos, a lot of lychees and stuff like that, love the humidity, man. So, again, this works really, really good. And now we're going to see Tina throw some decor. All right, so Turtle just pulled this out right here. And right here, we have a mushroom feeding ledge. So these are magnetized. You put them right on the side and then you can use it for water, use it for food. But again, man, another great product from Zilla, man. It's so freaking cool. Tina's about to demonstrate and show you guys how this thing works. And now, is that the magnet one or is that the suction cup one? This is the suction, suction cup, cup one, but yeah. they do have magnet ones too. And they're also really cool, man. Zilla has some really great products. And guys, by the way, this is not a paid advertisement in any way. I actually purchased all these things at a non-discount price. I'm just giving them a shout out just because I love their quality. I love their tank. So before you guys say, oh man, he must have got paid for this straight up for Zilla. No, 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 it's not at all. But Brian McVeigh is a really good guy and a really good friend of mine. So just to that shout out there Zilla love you guys so church McGurts yep so here it is this is the ledge comes with a nice little plastic cup reusable and you kind of just uh, suction it on the ledge so, so you're gonna that. put the water in there you're gonna put food in there uh, I'm gonna put water in there all right so let's see how this guy works Dang. okay there oh, goes. the body go in and show you girl no, you don't gotta show me I got this <laughs> okay so we really don't need it too high but I guess right there is pretty good and there you go it works fine <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do for you? No, I just gotta get it wet, but I don't know if I want to lick it or spray it. Dude, you should spit it. <laughs> okay, so right here, you're gonna put it in. A little tricky, little tricky, but I think I got it. Perfect. Dang, is it sturdy? Is it sturdy? It is. 
Oh, dang. All right, so I had to show Tina how to give her a little trick real quick and just take that out. Come on, Tori, give me a little credit, girl. All right, you, I'm going to give you credit. I'm going to give you credit. I just tried to do it like the cooler way, but it didn't work <laughs> out for me. <laughs> so we're going to stick this on here first. All right, see, this thing is pretty heavy. Look. Yeah, <laughs> big shout out to me. Big shout out to you for uh, telling me to fix it. Dang, turtle, dang. you are <laughs> You want me to do it? What is this? You want me to do it? Jeez. Damn. Just what else fire? me. What? Pure fire, bro. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, she's not doing this on purpose. <laughs> Let me tell you. Okay, but look, isn't it really cool? It has this thing here that you just pull and it comes right off. <laughs> oh, all right. All right. I'm not distracting you at all. Take five. <laughs> all right, again. Last time. It doesn't work by oh, getting dude. a ledge. And you did it. Seventh try, yeah, try. But I did. I did. Here you go. Take a look. It's gonna be drinking water from this guy. And perfect. It's perfect for him. He won't fall. Awesome. <laughs> nice and sturdy. All right. So Turtle just added this decor right here, and this one is magnetized. Look at this, man. This thing is freaking amazing, man. What gecko wouldn't be happy to be in here? And actually, we had this little coconut of his. I mean, he always goes in here. We've As you can to, see, his poopies on, yeah, his poops on there. Tried but. To, <laughs> we've tried to use a different hide, and he really does not go in it. There's something about this little thing. Maybe because he's always been in there since he's a little baby. I don't know. It's something. But he always goes in that little coconut. So we're going to put that in there. That should be the final touch right there. Yep. And when we feed these geckos, we have a little dish for them that we do every other day. Brand new clean dishes, so we don't put that there. But I will show you guys in the future vlog when we feed some of these geckos, but that one's done. Good job, turtle. Now we're gonna just spray it down a little bit, and then we're gonna put the gecko in there and go from there. Then we're gonna spray it. All right, so you wanna grab the little gecko? Yep. So here he is. And this one is Aubrey's. And we got this guy from Golden Cresties. I don't know the morph of this thing, but uh, man, it's pretty red. So I'll call it the red morph, Cresty. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's shedding right now. So we're gonna put him inside and then uh, we're gonna put him away. There you go, bud. Dude, that is so cool, man. That is so awesome. He already told me he's super happy in there. All right. Two down, one to go. All right guys, so we're not gonna be able to show you guys the next one just because we're building up, well actually Jesse is building up a, uh, no, a shelf so we can stack some things on it, but we need to help him with all that stuff. So guys, for the next vlog, we're gonna do a full reptile room tour and all this stuff should be there. I mean, some stuff that won't be in where it's supposed to be is some of our baby rattlesnakes just because we're waiting for the vision racks to get here with the locks and everything. So I won't be doing an update on those. But other than that, man, everything should be ready here. Big shout out to Turtle again. All right, and guys, go give her a follow. I'm gonna put her information in the description down below. Turtle, what is it? Turtle T22? Yeah, guys, make sure you give a follow. But guys, as always, man, we appreciate all of the support. Till next time. Peace. Peace.